Um, we're going to get into the last battle of the night, the main event. Um, and we're going to get into a clip of Tay Rock. Um, I mean, I felt like Rock was, he was a decent Rock. I don't think he was a great Rock. Um, I don't think he was a bad Rock. Um, I think that, I think he was better versus C3. Or it could have just been that official was better than C3, so it just didn't come across the same. Um, comments about his hands. I wasn't mad at the hat. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really... Oh, I, I don't know... The hat in the bars. I see somebody said something about he looked like he pickpocket watches or something like that, or like one of those dudes like from the Life movie but um, that pickpocket watches. But I don't think that... I don't think the look is bad. I think it would have maybe not for the battle. I would have rather see, I would have rather seen Hood Rock um, in this battle um, versus Dapper Rock. It was half Hood Rock, half Classy Rock, because he had on white jeans. That was like. Did he, kind of, did he <laughs> remix the Magenta Bar? I it think so. Also a bar. It was it was some shit going on in there the, with them bars, but um. Magenta all over the wall or something. I was like. Who said that? Wow. But who said that before? Somebody else um, said something like that. The official said that to Jazz. Somebody Jazz. said Jimmy Cricket. He Jazz needed Dracula. The... So I'll put, uh, Not easy. Got to save Rock on the two on two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, nah, I think that Rock hold his own. His own. I just think that Rock took a gamble that he lost. I think that he could have condensed those that roast. That roast should have been condensed. And I think that, um, I, you know, in this battle, it, it kind of scared me. Like, when they did the polls and they had um, Tay Rock taking the first, I was like, oh, yeah, they about to, they about to rob O. Because O. They about to do her. O's first was crazy. I had the pleasure of being able to hear it before just to make sure that, you know, she was on the right path. And I, when I heard it over the phone, I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, I, I this, you you were good. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, her first was crazy. She was, she had some crazy rock flips in there. She, you know, addressed the gay shit. I think she the gay shit. She did it well. Um, yeah, I think she did a, a wonderful job going into the first. We're going to get into a clip of official, though, and then we're going to dissect the whole battle. I loved it. Yeah, I think this was definitely um, one of the better officials that we've seen late. Uh, um, I, I think this was better than the 40 battle. I think this is better than the Arsenal battle. So I don't know if she learned from those two previous battles on Caffeine and she just decided to step into another bag or if Rock just was extra motivation for her because they have been going back and forth for a while. She did call him out for a while. Um I think she had a great showing um, last night as well. She, they definitely, she definitely came through as if she was the main. She knew she was the main event. I agree. Um, I feel like mm. official, definitely, to a, she all wrapped him to a degree. Um, I feel like that third really hurt, hurt him. Um, I don't think he slept on her, but I just feel like. He could have angled it better. It just could have been smarter angles. You know what I mean? And because he's rock, he's good. But I just feel like, you know, he wasn't trash, but them angles could have been better. That he could have wrote smarter for her. I feel like he could have had a potent third round without even mentioning Dunbar. I know that I think that was his approach, but just to do the jokes and then it was dragging. You know, I think after like the first minute, it was kind of right. like, what else? Yeah, you wanted him to switch to another topic or something or go a different way with it, and it's like he didn't. It didn't stop. Like somebody said in the comments, I don't know if he let Caution write the third or what, but it did not stop. It was just, <laughs> it was just. It like, wasn't as funny because, look, I feel like maybe if he made it a little softer and maybe laughed in between it, but he was so serious, true. it kind of took the fun out of it. And she had a great third, too. Like, I just feel like. She did. He didn't have he didn't have the room to be able to slack like that, you know. Nah. Um, and if you say you're not going to use any gun bars, there's so much other things you can do, um, than sit there and body shame her the whole round, when she already said in the face off that that's what you were going to do. She's so used right. to it by now, and she's rapping. Most of the dudes that come against official, they know you have to rap with her, and right. and you 
I think he kind of. Yeah, he didn't show her that respect, and she deserved it. I think he was so busy trying to be creative. I showed that he could flex on her, and it just didn't work. It didn't work to his advantage. At all. Uh, you think he was trying to go viral? Because I see a lot of people saying they feel like he was trying to go viral. And he that. might, he may go viral. Um, I feel like that uh, it, some people they may chop up the third, you know, piece of the third to where it may go, may go viral. You know, you never know these days. Um, but has rock. Has Rock won a battle on caffeine? Well, Verb. He beat Verb. Yeah. That was... And then but, Daylight was... Mm. Oh, no. He got he got, he's, mm. got smoked. Um, <laughs> he beat Verb, but who can't beat Verb? I didn't like that battle anyway. They, I didn't like that battle either, but they, Verb, I saw Let's Talk Battle Rap. Shout out to them. They put up a post that Verb hasn't won any... He's 0 for 4 on caffeine from the fan vote. Fire him. <laughs> you going to start a petition. Get it going. Get rid of him. His, oh, my God. His Scamming. rounds for Daylight were really good. They were. His rounds for Daylight were really good, but not good enough. Because Daylight had some of the best rounds we probably heard on caffeine to this day. And let me say this. I loved Rock. With his rocks material versus daylight, it was actually good. It's just daylight's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I had official actually taking this battle in, in the gentleman's thirty. Oh, with, um, with that being said, too, um, the, them going into their next event, can we expect to get who? Rock, can we expect and his two on two? Yeah. Uh, look. I mean, I know you can't say too much, and I don't expect you to. Right. Um, As all battles, you know what I'm saying? That's on, on the battlers for preparation. Uh, he has more than enough time to come and show up and be good because not you're not doing the round by yourself. You're sharing these rounds. So that makes it even easier. Um, they don't live too far apart. So there's really no excuses for nothing less than like seamless perfection. You know, I'm hard, but these niggas is nice. So I expect the best. Yeah, yeah. And Rock is the, is the vet in this thing. Even though Easy's the rising star, it still should be Rock somewhat having something to teach him. But we'll see. And that was my, um, I was actually going to answer that too. I feel like when you have a two-on-two, you have a partner, like, they're going to pull something else out of you. Um, you know what I'm saying? In most cases, that that alone, you're able to put your best material forward. Y'all able mm-hmm. to motivate each other. Um, so I think that kind of will probably be beneficial. A lot of the a lot of the vets are comfortable. I think First Lady Flames came on and said a lot of them are complacent in their spots. Um, so with being on here with these new people, I'm sure it's giving the new people an opportunity to shine. And um, you may even see it's that help some of the vets shine as well to be able to interact with I think with so. These I think new, it works both ways. Like they can feed off of each other's mm-hmm. energy. Freshen them up, uh, freshen up some of the vets while the vets maybe add a little bit of seasoning on the newer class. I, I'd like to see one of those kind of big sister, little sister kind of cards done uh, with the ladies. Um, I think that that would be interesting to see as well. Uh, maybe not go with the typical friends or however kind of maybe mix and match some of these ladies up um and see what we get you know i agree um i think O may have edged rock 3-0 the machine light up on rock like a diamond tester yes that was fire <laughs> that was fire yeah she was she was talking to him crazy what teams she would was you coming like, at him. what teams would you like to see for the ladies um i know we did a what ifs um card on the OTFMZ Instagram, but we kind of did like a big sister, little sister thing. I know Official and Casey versus Hustle and Vixen came up. Um, I know some people were saying they'd like to see Official and Cheddar team up. Um, any big sister, little sister teams you guys would like to see? Mm, I mean, gosh. You already say uh, Flames and Heart team Fl- up. And Flames and I Heart. Like that. I like that too. It would be potent. 
I don't know. Like the ones I'm thinking of, they don't get along and stuff. <laughs> that don't matter. Hustle and coffee would be um, a good big great sister, sister, little sister team. I hate to be typical, but I feel like Farrah and Yoshi would be a great sister team. Farrah and Yoshi. But, you know. um, mm-hmm. Forty and Yoshi. Um, I, seen... I think Forty and Yoshi together would be crazy. Mm, that would Shane be and Nemesis. No, I don't like no, that. No, I don't. No, I mean... No. What would you say? Shane I said Shane and, and Nemesis. Because what I be feeling like when people are clashing, it's really like a little bit of love there. When like you know what I mean, I feel like partners are battling against each other. Partners, partners. partners. I don't know if they'll mesh. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know if they'll mesh. Up. Somebody <laughs> said hell no. <laughs> um, oh, Meatrice and Shuni. <laughs> they. I don't know. They got to dress alike. <laughs> um, I know Hope Trilly and Gaddis have been talking about doing the two on two together. Um, okay. I like Hope Trilly performance skills. Yeah. Um, China, who would China and Avet? I, I would my maybe China and Shayna. Um, I I'm think, not mad at that. I like that a little bit better. Um, Excuse me. And somebody, um, who somebody said China? Who China and who? China and Shoney. I like China and Shoney. That'll be fire Petty too. Petty and Nemesis. Y'all crazy. Petty and Nemesis. They the same class. It's big sister, little sister. Shoney and Torture. I don't think that's going to work not out. Not now. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, they men, not going to happen. They men are beefing, so I doubt that's going to work. Yeah. Um, They're clashing. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what y'all was talking about. Yeah, Petty and Nemesis is not going to work. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> um, Who could Katori team up? I don't even feel like she... Katori coming out to team up with nobody. I feel like... <laughs> Don and Torture. I'm not mad at that. I would like to see Katori. I want to see Katori do some interesting things this year. Me too. I, I loved her I, first Charlie clips. Oh, my God. I love I love anything Katori do, really. I'm a, I, I like her. I loved her. She looks so good. You look good. I liked her. I liked her. I like her poker face. I like it. I liked her the second round. And the, he rapped like 15 minutes in that third. He funny. It's, it was him. She was up against him. But she did really good. I wouldn't mind Couture and T-Top. I'd like to see how they angle it at each other. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. She'll probably Ooh. fuck him up. Couture and T-Top. Let them angle at each other. Against each other or on the same team? Either way, I, I think that could go. That could be crazy. Either way, well, the same team would be fire. They'd be angling gods. They'll they'll tell a story. <laughs> oh, I like that. Facts. Uh, really Couture like need Jazz or E Heart this year. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't be mad if Jazz took Couture instead of Fit. Do y'all think that Jazz and Couture be a Entertaining battle? You think it would be a boring battle? Um, no, I don't think it'll be boring. I feel like Couture versus Jazz is dated to me now. Um, it is, but it ain't. It is, but it isn't. I could see how it could be dated. Um, but we never really got the got deep into it to where it kind of like. I think they both kind of over it. I don't think that they're both over it. I, Jazz just shot out Couture and her her diss, which lets you know she must be somewhere on her mind because she said she's not mentioning you if you need to get your weight up. And right. I don't think that Jazz is ever... I don't think that um, anybody's really over possibly getting a Jazz battle. Couture said Jazz could wait. Yeah, they always say that. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Um, it won't be exciting. Um, I don't. I'm not really interested in Couture and E Heart, but I understand why it has to happen. Right. Um, I understand why Couture needs it on her resume, but I'm not. It doesn't why move it should me. happen. Yeah. I rather much rather see Couture and Shoni, or uh, Couture and Gaddis. Those are two battles that I would like to see Couture do. Agreed. I, I think I wanted back. I think that so dated now. I think. I even want to see maybe Couture back in the day. Couture who? 
Who? Or C3. Like, no, I, they, they haven't battled. But I would have liked to see that some years ago. Yeah, yeah that's why I said, like, back in the gap. Shuni and Vixen. I do want to see Shuni and Vixen. Uh, battling on. When Shuni come back from paternity leave, she going to shake some shit up. You know, like, Shuni mm-hmm. and the caffeine set, and I feel like she's going to be very comfortable. She's going to, she's been barring lately. I feel like Shuni's going to come and kind of shake these cards up a little bit. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. Sh- Yo, I cannot wait for Shuni's return. It's going to be crazy because I feel like she really saved female battle rap at a time mm-hmm. when it was just really lagging. And I know she feels, you know, like she deserves so mm-hmm. much more. This her just do, right? So I cannot. Yeah, she does. She does, though. It's, it's real. I can't wait. I want to see the boss to come back. They said she's Debo said she was coming. He he said on the live that she was gonna be on Kings vs. Queens too. I was gonna say Merc, but you know she might forget her toothbrush and came around. <laughs> <laughs> um, who y'all think Shuni comeback should be? I um, would just say um cough I wouldn't mind Shuni and Coffee, I went in my Shuni and Couture, I went in my Shuni and Vixen, I went in my Shuni and Casey, I went in my Shuni and Gaddis. Um Shuni could come back and pretty much do anything. You mm-hmm. know, and you can't battle without brushing your teeth now. I don't know about that. Right, because they do it all the time. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, she was the first woman of the year, technically. Uh, I mean, technically, it's, it's Vixen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but... Um, mask hella funky. Um, so yeah, I feel like overall though for the night, I feel like Kings vs. Queens 2 was a success. I think this is, um, the best event that the ladies have had on Caffeine. Um, I feel like they definitely won last night in my opinion 3-2. Um, Mm -hmm. and I feel like the men for the most part, except for Verb, were, were good, so... That makes it even better that for the ladies that did win, you know, you beat right. a good version of your opponent. And the ladies that lost, you got really good versions of your opponent. Um, so Agreed. It's no it doesn't hurt anything like that. Like it's not like you lost to a swamp in a bad, you know, version like a swamp that battled Casey. Right. Poor Swamp got girls out here lying on him. And swamp like shit was hard got, to deal with. You got girls out here lying on you, Swamp. Pull you. Shout out to Swamp. Um, mm-hmm. Casey versus Vixen this year. Yeah. Casey versus Vixen this year. But now, it should happen. But I, I'm think I'm hoping for later this year now. Maybe like an NHB towards the end of the year. October, November, let it build up. Hopefully, they both have good years. Agreed. Um, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, if they have a good years, this should be. So far, right now, if you had to pick a Wody of the year right now, who would it be? Coffee's up there. Hustle's up there. Who this else? Off the card. Well, I mean, I guess that. Uh, yeah, this this all we really got to go by so far. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, yeah, I would say that uh, right, if I had to put them in order right now, I'd say Coffee, Hustle O. Like, Hustle, like, it's, I might just add Coffee over there. Yeah, as of right now. Um, yeah. They said in the comments, official, official. Um, she had to cuff the toughest cop official off one battle. I mean, it's it's not a vixen technically has two battles right now. Does Cheddar and O battle count for this year? No, that's last year. That happened last year, didn't it? Cheddar? Yes, that was twenty twenty. Yeah. That might change that in was April. Yeah, things might change in April. So we're really only talking about I guess what's happened thus far. So you got Vixen with Emerson Kennedy and um, Loso, Fisher with Rock, Hustle and Verb, Coffee and T Top. It would have been Coffee and JC, but that didn't go down. Um, and First Lady Flames and JC. Yeah. 
Mm. What you guys give the event overall? I think that event was like a nine ten, just because everybody they really came to rap. Yeah. I was really pleased with the event too, so I'm I'm giving it a nine. Nobody choked. Um, right. It, it was. I thought it was a great event, um, and I feel like we're gonna be watching these battles uh, for a while, especially if they were on YouTube. Yeah, um, they have a lot of replay value. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we get out of here, um, we definitely want to appreciate everybody that came by. Anybody that Thanks, dropped props, yeah. prop gang. Um, we only are live tonight because the event was last night, so we used today to recap. Um, make sure y'all following us again at OTFMZ on Instagram. Um, my personal Instagram is PeterDon89, which you can see scrolling down the bottom. Um, our cash app is OTFMZ Media, where you can get your shirts. Um, you see hurricane do you want to go ahead and give out your information let them know where they can find you guys the hurricane do on instagram and hurricane do everywhere else including apple music spotify because y'all know i got that fire <laughs> and dakari i'm your ig dkbrii hate it <laughs> hate it it'd be so hard for me to find you on ig i'd be like DV. oh my god D-R-D-I-I. is it dk i'd be like, like what is his roman yes it'd be pissing me off i'd be like uh. <laughs> oh, my, <I> bad. <laughs> my bad go ahead. i just thought you needed to know <laughs> Well. Oh, go, and make sure y'all subscribe to the our YouTube OTFMZ. We're trying to get um a thousand subscribers, so please, if you could take the time to follow us on OTFMZ, we post all of our insta all of our interviews. Um, if we have Instagram lives, we try to get them posted up there so you can keep up with us there. Um, we do have a Hope Trilly interview that is coming out soon. Um, we also have a China interview that just dropped. Um, if you're not familiar, she has a battle with Unique Fatal that just dropped where she snatches off the wig. Everybody goes crazy. You may have seen that clip going around. Um, so she gets into that in the interview. Um, make sure y'all go stream Coffee. That's Facts. That's the song that you heard at the beginning of the show. And shout out to Production and T, our PR, um, and the rest of the OTFMZ staff. And y'all have a great night. That's facts. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.